They call me redneck, I reckon that I am, but there's things going on that make me mad to the core. I gotta work like... What up, y'all? Hey, I just wanted to make this quick little video. And I know this might disturb some people. Um, hopefully, it will kind of help some people. Um, I just wanted to make up. I just wanted to make this video uh, about the two mass shootings we've just had in El Paso and in um, Ohio. Uh, one was a far left extremist. One was a far right extremist. I don't agree with either one. Um, just so you guys know. I believe in the Second Amendment and I believe that we have the right to defend ourselves, but something that you people need to understand, all everybody, not just you people, but me and everybody else in this world needs to understand. The Second Amendment is there to help us. Do you think the criminals are going to listen to these uh, Democrats who are trying to uh, pass bills to not have weapons? Do you literally think criminals are going to listen to that? No. Criminals listen to their own law. They listen to their, they do what they want, when they want, how they want. That's why they're criminals. They don't listen and they don't abide by rules. They do what they want, when they want, how they want. Um, it's not right. Um, I haven't been in trouble. Uh, you know, like I said, the only time that I know that I have been in trouble was that criminal damage to state property and that story that I told you that was back in 1992. That's the only time I've ever been in trouble. Never have done anything since then. So it's been over over 20, 20 some years that I have not, I've not even had a speeding ticket. But here's my point. You take guns out of law-abiding citizens' hands, it's going to make it worse. Here's why. You're going to take our freedom and our ability to defend ourselves away from us. And the more gun-free zones that you make, the more mass shootings there are going to be. Think about this. A criminal ain't going to care, just like if you think about the, uh, the the shooting that was out in California at the garlic thing. He took bolt cutters, he cut through a, he cut through a fence, he came in through a back way and started shooting people. He didn't care about the laws. He didn't care about shit. He did what he wanted to do. That's what I'm trying to get across. And I would choose... I'm not going to choose uh, a little bit of safety over my freedom. Um, I personally, I own guns. You guys know I do. And I'm not, I'm not going to bow down to these people that are trying to make laws that say I cannot own a gun. I am a law-abiding citizen. I have been my entire life. Um, besides, you know, when I was a little kid and stole candy from a store, I have not done anything like that or uh, anything major. I've never stolen anything like uh, that got me in trouble or anything like that. I have not stolen anything. Um, but I have, I have weapons and I choose to keep them because that is my right under the Constitution. A lot of people don't see this. A lot of people see it as an, oh no, take all the guns away. Take all the guns away. You guys don't understand. That's going to make this problem a lot worse. Especially when you take the guns out of the hands of the people who are defending themselves from uh, people who are criminals who don't live by the law. And there, there, I guess something was, a statement was made that one of the politicians had said, well, Texas is an open carry state, and you'd think one person was carrying it, you know? But it was also said that if you do some research on the, the Texas shooting there in El Paso, there wasn't just one guy. There was three or four guys, and that came from multiple witnesses saying that three or four guys in black with guns went into Walmart. Why are they only reporting that there is one shooter with a gun? doesn't make any sense to me uh, and I'm, I've been trying to do some research to find out what's going on 
but I know there was a girl and her two daughters and there was another woman and her daughter. They were out in the parking lot and they seen three or four men with black go into Walmart. There was a lady at the register with her two daughters. So there, there's three more that was sitting at the register that seen three or four come in the door. What happened to the other two or three? It's a good question. Makes you think. Anyway. I'm sick of politicians, whether they be Republican or Democrat, that's trying to take my right to bear arms away from me. I've told you guys since day one, it'll be a cold day in hell, and they will have to pry my gun out of my hand, but they're going to get the ammunition first. You guys, you may agree with me and you may not agree with me, but I'm telling you right now, there is no better time to stand up against tyranny than now. You take our Constitution away, you're taking everything away from us that our forefathers have worked so hard to do. And I hear this thing all the time from people on the left. Well, the Constitution, when the right to bear arms, was not presented for an AR-15. Our right to bear arms, whether it's an AR-15, an AK-47, uh, an Uzi, uh, uh, whatever it may be, that's our right as American citizens to have the right to bear arms. I'm just so sick of people trying to infringe on my rights. Um, if you agree with me, I would like to hear what you guys have to say. Even if you disagree with me, I would like to hear what you have to say. Um, I just want you to know that I am, I'm just so sick of all government trying to take over my personal life, my personal freedoms. I would like to know if you guys feel the same way. Um, more gun laws, it ain't going to help. It's going to make things a hundred thousand times worse. And I will give you an example. Australia. They did a buyback program and they, they wanted all the guns back. Their crime rose over 50% when they did that. It made it worse. The criminals still got guns, and uh, the law-abiding citizens ended up dying because of it. You will not take my gun. And I hope there's other people out there that feel the exact same way, because this has just gotten out of control. And the Democrats or Democrats uh, are trying to do everything they can to take our rights, our liberty, and our freedom of owning a weapon away from us. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to stand for that. I'm not going to have our government sit there and say, well, we need more laws to take, our, take your guns away. No, it's not happening. I've never did anything wrong. I have my guns and I do use them for self-defense and for them to come out and want to make more gun laws it's not right I don't care whether you're on the left or the right of this situation because like I said one shooter was on the left one shooter was on the right and it, they're they're both far far extremist and I don't believe in that it's just the way the world has gotten it's, I, I, I hate saying this, but it's going to come down and people like me, and I'm not saying I'm, I want this. I don't, I do not want this to happen, but I see it coming down to a bloodbath if they're going to try to take guns away from citizens. I see, I see World War III within our country, an own, our own little civil war, or not little civil war, it's going to be a big one. Now, I want you guys to think about something real quick. And uh, I know this might sound kind of nuts or it might sound kind of crazy. But you take it, all these politicians, they have armed security around them all the time. They have walls around their house all the time but they don't want you to have a wall around you and they don't want you to have weapons 
how hypocritical is that? Think about it. Think about what they're really doing. Whether you're on the left or you're on the right or if you're in the middle. You tell me how that's fair. They're allowed to have armed security around them 24-7. They're allowed to have fences and gates and walls and everything around their house. But they don't want you to have nothing. And that's exactly what they're showing you. They're telling you to fuck off. Think about it. Anyway, I just wanted to make this real quick. Uh, it's not really a bitch video. I mean, I don't think I really raised my voice that too much in it, but you guys need to think about this. Do you want freedom? Or do you want to fight for what you believe in? And I'm not saying physically go out and get into a gunfight. I'm saying think about it. Use your head. Do it the right way. But I know, I have this feeling, it's going to come down to where it's going to be, it's going to be us versus them. And it's going to be us versus the government because the far left don't give a flying fuck about us. The government, anybody who's in the fucking, fucking government, they don't care. All they care about is making their money and making stupid ass laws that we don't know about. And I tell this to a lot of people. We could be sitting here, I could be sitting here right now and breaking the law and not even realize that I'm doing it because I don't know the law exists. Think about that. And I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be no fucking sheep. I am not going to be a sheep and be led to slaughter. I'm not doing it. I have my own will, I have my own mind, I have my own line of thinking. You know, yeah, sometimes I say I'm crazy, and I mean that in a playful way, in a fun way. But you guys know, I, I've had a lot of people come out literally and tell me, man, Puddin', you're one hell of a smart dude. You know, I, I don't know if I am or not. Uh, I do know I'm crazy, in a good way. But I know I just don't like taking shit off of people. And I'm not going to do it. I'm going to be me and I'm going to be who I am because this is who I am. So I just wanted to bring this up. You guys, please think about this. Um, I want to hear your comments on this. Like I said, far left, far right. One of each did the shooting in El Paso and in, in uh, um, Ohio. Uh, they were trying to say that the shooter that was at the garlic festival in California was a white guy. He was not. He was um, Italian and Iranian. Um, and he despised white people. Um, at least that's the information I got and that's what I found when I looked it up. He did not like white people at all. So I don't know what the media is telling you about the, uh, the garlic festival shooter. But um, that's what I found online uh, when I was doing research about him. Uh, so you guys, you guys believe what you want. Um, I believe what I want. But I still think we need to be together on this because I don't want my rights as a gun owner taken away from me. Because I ain't going down. It's not going to be pretty when I go down. It, it won't be pretty. And I guarantee you I will take a few of them with me before I go. So anyway, y'all, have a good day. And I'm not even going to say my quote today uh, because it's filled, this, this video right here does not need it. Um, but you need to start thinking about your freedom and you need to start thinking for yourself and not letting the government take over your mind and do the thinking for you. So you need to protect yourself and your family and you need to do it now. So anyway, I love you guys. God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you in the next film. Later on. So put your drinks up for the weekend, cause